I'm going to be making kolache. It's a traditional Czechoslovakian sweet treat. It's a, it's a yeast bun. Now, kolaches are traditionally made with a poppy seed filling, but I'm not going to use that today. I'm going to use a homemade raspberry filling. So to start, I melted one and a half sticks of butter and three quarters of a cup of milk on the stove and it's heated, it's still kind of warm. To that I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of water and one teaspoon of my homemade vanilla. And I'm going to give that a little stir. And I'm going to set it aside for the moment. Okay. In our mixer bowl, well, to start with, I've got three and a quarter cups of flour, five tablespoons of sugar, one and one half teaspoons of yeast, excuse me, two and a half teaspoons of yeast, three egg yolks, and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to remove about three quarters of the flour, and I will add that in later if I need it. So we'll just remove that, put that off to the side. Put the rest of the flour into the bowl. Kind of dump it now. There's the sugar, the yeast, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to give that a little mix just to get it slightly blended. It's good enough. I'm just mixing it, not trying to incorporate it that much. Now I'm going to add the three egg yolks. And I'm going to mix that together and gradually add the milk mixture. At this point, it's a very wet dough, so I am going to add the rest of that flour. And now just mix it until it's well blended. It's still very wet and sticky, but we're going to work it with a little bit of extra flour on the table. You can see from the yeast how gooey it gets, sticky and elastic. Now, out onto the table. And we'll add, we'll be adding, you know, a little bit of flour from what we put on the table to this because it's still really sticky. I'm going to get my hands nicely flat. Oh, it's a beautiful dough. It's so soft and tender. Don't want to add too much until I need it. And just, you're going to need this now for about four or five minutes just to get everything incorporated, get that dough nice and smooth. So I'll just keep continuing for four or five minutes. Our kolache dough has been sitting for about two hours and it's risen. So I'm going to take it out of the bowl, put it down on the table. Now I'm going to divide it in half. Then each half I'm going to cut into 12 rolls. So let's see if I can do this evenly. So one, two, three. I'm very bad at this. <laughs> let's see. I'm going to have to 
steal from this one to that one. So I'm only getting 10 and I should be getting 12. So they should be approximately inch and a half, two inches in diameter. And what I do is I flatten them out first and then I turn them over and then I just start scooping up the sides and trying to pinch, pinch, pinch. Now I turn it over to the smooth side. With my hand like this, I'm going to put it over and I'm just going to roll it around. And it makes a nice even roll. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on a sheet lined with parchment or you can use silpat whichever you happen to have. Put that aside and try a next one. Now here's where I go stealing a little bit to try to get those six rolls. I'm stealing a little piece off of each one. Flatten it and then start the pinching process. I'm sure if you've made dinner rolls before you've probably done this a million times. Turn it over. And there's your little round ball and that goes on the sheet. And we just keep doing them until we have all of them done. On my last kolache here, so now what I need to do is I need to put them aside and cover them up and let them sit at room temperature for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I'll show you how to fill them up. I can never get my towel open here, so let's cover those up. And while we're waiting, um, I'm gonna to talk to you about the filling. Now, as I said in the beginning, the, the traditional filling for the Czechoslovakian kolache is a poppy seed filling. Not too many people like a poppy seed filling. I like it a little bit, not great. So, People over the years have tried other different kinds of fillings, and it can be any kind of a fruit filling or even a cheese filling if you want. I chose raspberry, and what I did is yesterday I got a 14 ounce frozen package of raspberries, and I put the raspberries along with one and a half cups, one and a quarter cups of sugar, I'm using my cheat sheet over here, four tablespoons of cornstarch, and a pinch of salt, and I put that in a bowl over a pan of simmering water, uh, a double boiler if you will. You can do it directly over the heat if you want to, but you must stay with it or it's going to scorch. Now the trick to not getting lumps is take your sugar, your cornstarch, and your salt together in a bowl, whisk them up until they are well blended, then add them to the raspberries. If you put them, just spilling them on top, you risk getting lumps of cornstarch here and there and you don't want that. And so what I ended up with was Really, it's, it's like a raspberry pie filling, and if you don't want to go to this length to make your filling, buy a can of pie filling, or you can use raspberry preserves of some sort. And another thing I'm going to put in is after I put the topping on, I mixed up about five tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of soft butter, and I really worked it in until it made almost like a streusel. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that on top. It just adds a little extra flavor and a nice little decoration. So, 20 to 30 minutes at room temperature. Then we'll come back, we'll make the indentations and fill them. The kolache have been sitting now for about 20 minutes at room temperature. They've risen slightly. And now I'm going to make a little indentation in the center. I'm going to use my little pestle for my mortar and pestle or you can use anything else that you can find that has a shape that can make an indentation. Look around your kitchen. You can use a spoon or something like that. So I'm just going to make an indentation and I'm dipping it slightly in flour so it doesn't stick. Let's see if I can get more than one. Yeah, it's not sticking. That's good. So just make a nice indentation. Now something that someone told me about these is that if you take a toothpick and you go around the rim of the indentation and just make some holes, the pastry will hold its shape better and it won't, I don't know, disform or whatever. So I'm going to try that. Oh, this person told me eight holes. I'm putting in six. 
six or seven, whatever. And we'll see if this experiment works. You know what? I want to make that hole a little bit wider. I want to get a lot of filling in there. I probably just screwed up all the holes I made, but oh well. I'll do better on the second sheet. So now I'm going to start filling these with that raspberry filling. And what I have is that streusel I told you about, so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that on each one. I'm just going to keep going, finish this tray, start the next tray, and then I'll get them into the oven, which is heating up to 350 degrees. And these will bake for about 15 to 20 minutes. I would start checking them around 12 or 13 minutes. Every oven is different and you'll just see they'll be golden brown.